Hey everybody, it's Tiffany. Um, one of my subscribers, Kathy Loves Salmon Boas, she had a question about how to sex um, a giant cave cockroach nymph. She has one that she got from Mark the Reptile Keeper. He's who I got mine from as well. He's awesome. Um, she got a nymph, and this is a male and female nymph here. And she was wondering how to tell the difference. And I'm going to attempt to show you. Um, I made a diagram because the roaches don't like to hold still too well. And it's really crappy, so I apologize for that. But it, it'll help, you know, really explain what I'm talking about here. So this is my crappy diagram. Okay, so the female, you flip them over upside down, and there's a last segment and the second to the last segment, and then, you know, the rest of the segment's on their belly. But you look at that last segment, and on a female, it's just going to be a smooth transition between the last segment and the next segment down. Um, you're not going to see anything but a just smooth segment. So that's a female. God, this is a really bad drawing, but I'm sorry. So, Kathy, I hope that you think this is funny, but I hope it helps you as well. Um, and this is a male. On the male, you got the last segment, and then on either side, on right or left side, there's a small notch, almost like a, a horizontal V or a triangle on either side between the last segment and the second to the last segment. So that's what a male is going to look like. So there's going to be a total difference, and sometimes it's really hard to see on the roaches because they do not like to hold still. But if you look at them close enough, you will be able to tell the difference. And a lot of species are like this, but I know for a fact you can sex the giant caves like this. Now, I've got a male and a female. I'm going to attempt to show you on the real roach what the difference looks like. But my phone's probably not going to pick it up too well. And it's going to be hard to get them to hold still. They get really irritated. Okay, this is a little female. It's really hard to see. But on her rear end, the last segment and the second to last segment, it's just smooth. No notches whatsoever. And once again, I apologize for the poor quality. So that is a female. She did a good job holding still for us. And then this is a male. If I can get him to turn around and be still without falling. Okay. The male has these little notches. Sorry. I'm doing it one handed fighting a roach here. Okay. The little notches are like right here and right here on either side of his last segment. And it's kind of hard to see with this phone, but um, this is where you're going to be looking for it. Is right where my fingernail is, is right there and right there. It's just follow the line where his little horns, the Circe on the end of his rear, follow the line from there on either side, and you'll see the notches. So this is a male. Sorry, this is my little bent bent male. His pronotum is bent. I guess when he molted before I got him, it got bent before he dried out. So he's a little wonky looking, but he's a nice one. I have 18 babies and 10 adults. Um, they're huge. They're almost 5 inches. They're huge. But yeah, I hope this helps you, Kathy, and I hope it helps anyone else who's trying to sex their roaches. Um, please like, subscribe.